Today we will see how to manage property owners in a property management system. I have already created a table structure where the list of owners will be stored. To simplify, I have only included owner name, mobile, email, and address. You can modify it as needed based on your requirements. So now I will create the table. The table has been created. Now I will create a form so that we can insert data into it from the application. I will give the page name here. Select the table that you want to use to create the form. Next, I will create a report to view the owner data. I will give the page name here. Select the table that you want to use to create the form. The report has been created. Now I will create a button to open the form. The button has been created, but the link has not been set yet. So I will now provide the link to the page. Now I click the button, and we can see the form is opening. For testing purposes, I will insert some data. The data has been inserted, but after closing the pop-up, the report did not refresh. Now I need to reload the page to see the data. So, I will create a dynamic action so that the report refreshes after the pop-up is closed. Under the button, I will create a dynamic action. I named the action Refresh Owner List. And in the action, I selected refresh and targeted the owner list region. Now I will save and test. Now we can see that as soon as the pop-up window closes, the data appears in the owner list. Now I will link the report with the form so that I can edit existing data. Here, I provided the page number and linked the report in form using the primary key column. The edit option has appeared. Now I will click edit to modify the data. After editing, when the pop-up is closed, the report is not refreshing. So I need to create another dynamic action. This dynamic action should be created under the owner list region.
Now I will test it again. Now it's working. In our report, we have an active column where we are seeing one. So I will use a case function and convert it to show active or inactive messages. For that, I need to go to the query and use a case function. If the value of the active column is 1, it will show active, and if it is null, it will show inactive. The column is currently hidden, so I need to make it visible. I am ending the video here. Thank you.